Good evening, Advent. Welcome to Vespers. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ, here in the presence of Almighty God, let us confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by God's infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. This evening's reading is Psalm 131. O Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me, but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. I remember the early days with Andrew, a newborn, that we brought home when he was three days old. And those days of holding him against my chest will always be cherished memories. There isn't much that is more comforting and soothing than that little warm body held close, the gentle breathing in and out, and the smell, the smell of a newborn. There are blessings in this life that are priceless, blessings that are not achieved out of ambition, that are rooted in the simplest of pleasures. They need no embellishment. We are called only to rest in them. But we don't rest very well. Our eyes are, in fact, often raised too high, and we are occupied by things that are too great and too marvelous. And our lofty ambitions have everything to do with ourselves and very little to do with looking beyond ourselves and into our cherished relationships and experiences, especially our relationship and our experiences with the living God. If it all rests on our shoulders, if ambition drives us to overreach, then we are at risk of missing those parts of life that give us hope. For hope is not ours to make, but God's gift of a vision of God's future for us and for the world. So we hope in the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Good night, Advent.